Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you a very nice plugin to make beats by Modalix, and that one is called Beat Scholar. With this plugin, you can create entire beats or drums for your music in a very intuitive way. The nice thing is that everything is very visual and might help you come up with interesting beats. You can also work with different time divisions and combine it with your DAW. You can also use it as a standalone version so that you can quickly can make a beat and play along with your instrument. So let's have a look! This is Beat Scholar, and first I will give you an overview of the plugin. Here in the middle is the sequencer part, so this is where we will make the beat. Here on the right side we can make different patterns of the beat, so this is an arrangement view, and you are then able to make an intro beat, a verse beat, or a chorus beat, and you can also change in between them. Down here is the sampler engine, so you are able to use uh, different kind of samples. You also can map them to controller if you want to. This plugin comes also with several samples, so you can find them here. Then you can choose between different kits. You can also use your own samples, so if I want a different sound for this, I uh, just can take my sample from my own sample library. I put it in here and I have my own sample. This on the right side are the effects of the samples and you can change the effects per sample. You also have a fader, so when one of your sounds is too loud, you just can drag the fader down to make it less loud. And here's the master section. So now let's have a look at the sampler. You see here in the middle part the circle and I can fill it in. And this is then one beat, so it sounds like this. I'm able to drop any sample that I want into the circle. So now I can slice up this beat in two parts. So I hold down two on my keyboard and you see the pointer is changing into a slicer and I cut it up. So now I have two parts and I fill this one in. So it sounds like this. And now I can slice it even up more. I can go into three and I fill it again and then into four, five, six. This is actually the structure how you can build beats. I will make now a beat so that you see how that works. Here above you see a one, two timing, but actually I want to make a four, four timing. You can even go up to 27. So, but now I go to four, four, so I change it. I make this a new one. So first we have here a kick and it sounds like this. Now I want to make some hi-hats. I can go here on plus and I add hi-hats. So I hold two and I click here and I get them for all of them. So now I can fill in my hi-hats. So I just choose a pattern and if I hold alt, I'm able to make velocity. I can go lower my velocity or up. So let's see how this sounds. Down here, I can make it last load on level. Now I can add a new sound. I go here now on four and I fill it in. I can make uh, velocity changes. And let's listen. So now I have this beat and I make another one. So there's another function. You have here a randomize function. If I click on this, I see down here that I can make changes in randomization. So and in this part, you see that you can do different kinds of beat slicing. You have here the trigger chance and the velocity range. So you have here also different kind of presets for the randomization. I will now check this one, this glitchy trappy hats. So I see that this is selected and I just put in different ones. So let's see how this sounds. What I also can do is that I drop different kind of sounds within my patterns. So I can drop this one in here. And this way I can really extend my beat and make a lot of variations. 
You also can copy the bead to the right side. So I do this here and then I can extend it. I'm also able to use different time signatures. So I can add plus and I say here seven, eight, then it extends like this. And then I can make a variation on this bead in this timing. So here is your first pattern. If you right click, you just can copy it and then you can say paste. Then you have your different setting. For instance, the, uh, the first one is your intro. I can call it intro. And here we have verse. I have here my intro and if I go to my verse, I can make the variations. So you see that it's changed here. We will listen now to some presets so that you can hear what all the possibilities are. Funk. Free meltdown. <laughs> Here you see stereo, but you can also put it in multi and then you're able to multi track it. So you do this in the following way. So here you have Beat Scholar, make here an audio track, and I say external in from Beat Scholar here, number 12. I put it on in, and then I can decide pet main is coming in. So, and then I can take the second sound and so on. If you want to use a different instrument from your instrument library, you are able to do that. And uh, you just can use the pattern for your MIDI file. So I click here on shift and here on my pattern, and then I can drag and drop the MIDI file. You also can send MIDI out to other instruments. And here you have then settings to set up MIDI channels. And here you can enable or disable the sequencer or, or enable or disable the sampler. So I have here a little loop with a soundscape and it sounds like this. I also made a beat for my soundscape. So here you see the 4-4 four, four beat. Here is also a 4-4 four, four beat. This is a 7-8 beat and a 9-8. So this makes six and again, so that I come back here. So let's listen now. So now let's listen to the whole song. I love this plugin and got very surprising results for my beats. It really invites you to have fun making music and try new rhythms. I also find it instructive as you can see what is happening to the rhythm and I think that can be beneficial to your beat programming skills. I hope you found the video helpful and if you have any good tips for beat making software, I would love to hear it in the comments and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.